27 storm track weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Hopman. Oh, and did I have the smells and the tastes earlier on? Limburger, one word, that's all you need to know. Actually, wasn't really that bad. It was actually pretty good. Uh, we are dealing with a lot of dry weather of late. And as a result, many of us have actually fallen back down into abnormally dry or even moderate drought like conditions. You can see all the yellows and uh, that tan on your screen there. That's an indicator of the drier than average weather or the drought conditions. And well, we did get a little relief from that late last night with that round of showers and thunderstorms rolling through mineral points, just about four tenths of an inch, about three tenths of an inch of rainfall. Madison over the last 24 hours alone. So we have seen some rain, but today once again, bone dry out there. Not much in the way of really even cloud cover this evening. Your satellite radar looking very quiet. Temperatures as of right now in the mid to low 60s. Not much in the way of winds. Dew point values relatively low and comfortable, but there are additional chances of rainfall on the way. So we're at 62 degrees in Madison, 64 Janesville, Monroe still holding on the 75 and all things considered being out in downtown Monroe earlier on this evening, we saw temperatures get up to around 85, 86 degrees there earlier on today. Those temps have not fluctuated all that much. It's got to be all the cheese, all the folks downtown keeping those temperatures nice and mild. As we head into the overnight hours early tomorrow morning, we see some of this cloud cover begin to scoot back in over the region. Notice winds as well. They're not strong, mind you, but they are shifting back to the south. And that is going to play a role tomorrow, helping to drive those temperatures back up not only into the mid 80s, but the upper 80s across the region tomorrow. Morning low temperatures down to the upper 50s and low 60s, wherever you are early tomorrow morning. You want to get out to that Dane County Farmers Market tomorrow morning. Should be a perfect morning to do so. Plenty of sunshine, dry weather, fairly mild. 69 at 9 o'clock. By 1 o'clock in the afternoon, we're already pushing 82 degrees. So we're seeing that warmth on its way. And it's all because the amount of sunshine paired with that southerly wind allowing temperatures to surge across the region. In fact, look at afternoon highs on Saturday all the way back up mid to upper 80s. I wouldn't be surprised to see a 90 degree temperature or two tomorrow. 86 Watertown, Janesville, 89 degrees. It'll be 86 in Monroe. Now this is about three o'clock in the afternoon. We're topping out at 87 degrees in Madison. If you want to get out tomorrow afternoon, early evening, kick off against the Spokane Velocity. Forward Madison taking the pitch at Breeze Stevens at 5 o'clock. It'll be 85 degrees at kick. 6 p.m. mostly cloudy, 83. Latest model data showing chances of showers and thunderstorms settling in. Widespread chances of rain after about 6 or 7 o'clock. This is your 7 o'clock hour. Dane County, for the most part, the latest model data still looking quite dry, but we will continue to see on and off showers and thunderstorms throughout the evening and even into the overnight hours. Now, here's the deal with it. Latest model data not looking as organized. That is good news for us. However, the Storm Prediction Center still maintaining a one on the threat index for the far western reaches of the region. That means that between the hours of around 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock, strong winds, small hail, a possibility uh, for tomorrow evening. By Sunday, we're looking at more widespread scattered rainfall. High temperature of just 70 degrees. Monday, a high of just 69 degrees. Things cooling off in a very big way. As far as additional rainfall goes over the next two to about three days, we are looking at about maybe one, one and a half inches along the state line. Now again, we have Badger Challenge on Sunday. Right now, it does look like the heaviest rainfall will stay south of oh. Madison. Hmm. That being said, isolated shower still a possibility uh, on Sunday. Damn. Listen, I had a lot of folks down in Monroe asking me about the parade on yeah. Sunday down yeah. there. That might be affected by the rain as well. Yeah. So we're, we, we are crossing those fingers. Hopefully the rain holds off, goes south of that state line. But it looks like Tuesday, additional chances of rain as well. Okay, thanks right. again. Keep the rain.